And hello YouTube, GS Mam Smart here, and in today's video we're going to be teaching you how to add and create closed captions, open captions, and subtitles in your Premiere Pro project, and then also how to export that so you can see them on your video. That's come up next. What's up guys, JS Mam Smart here. Today with another brand new video for tutorials with JS. Thanks for stopping by and watching another one of my videos. If you haven't been new to the channel, new to any of my videos, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel. Plenty of other video editing tutorials, photo editing tutorials, audio editing. We have tutorials on Premiere Pro, After Effects, Photoshop, Audacity, GIMP, all kinds of cool stuff. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as that post notification bell so you can stay up to date with all the most recent videos. So here we are in Premiere Pro, and this is a video that I already published on my gaming channel, so everything's already edited. I'm just at the stage of adding captions here. So I'm gonna show you how to add captions. It's very easy, you go down to the bottom here where it says new item, and you select captions. Now you have several options here. One of the things that you'll see is when you click the first, the first one that says standard, you'll see four options. You have the first ones, that look very similar, you have tele and you have open captions. The first two are basically closed captions. This one's for television and this one is open captions. Now the difference between closed captions and open captions, closed captions are basically ones that you can turn off and turn on. So very similar to on YouTube where you have the closed captions CC button at the bottom right corner of the video, you can turn those captions on or off. Open captions on the other hand are kind of like subtitles where those will always be on the video. Now, if you're gonna be using closed captions, the first one, which is the lower number, is an older version. This one, the second number, is a more advanced version, more modern version, so make your selection based on that. Uh, also, if you have a media player that supports closed captions, then you'll be able to turn them on and off using these two standards. If you don't have a media player that supports closed captions, then well, you won't be able to do it. We're gonna be using open captions, though, so these are kind of like subtitles, you can't turn these on or off. These are always gonna be on the video. You can select your width and height dimensions if you need, but usually this defaults to your sequence settings, so you should be okay, go and press okay. You'll see that a brand new item has appeared in your, basically where all the other bins and items are. So what you can do is drag this item onto your timeline, and essentially you wanna drag it on top of your video channel so that you can see the text. If I go ahead and make this full screen now, you'll see that we can see this type caption text here. So this will be showing on top of your video. Now, if you want to edit this, just double click the caption item and this box should pop up. If it doesn't pop up, go to your Windows button at the very top in the menu. Make sure you have the captions button ticked and that way this will pop up. Now there's a lot of buttons here, but don't worry too much. A lot of this is pretty simple. You have your aligning tools here. You have your, do you want to make your text bold, italic, or underline here. You can add a music note with this button. So if I go ahead and, you know, click a music note, you'll see we added a music note. So pretty cool. Um, you also have your background color, your text color, and your edge color. If you want to change that color, you'll have to click one of these and then change the color here. So just be aware, one of these has to be active. Then you have your opacity settings right here. And then you have your positioning right here and you can either click one of these circles here to position it or you can just uh, manually adjust the X and Y axis. Up here you have your regular font size and everything you would see in Photoshop or a word editor. So nothing too complicated. Now if you have a transcript already created, you could simply copy and paste things from the notepad here onto the box. If not, you can just type it into Premiere Pro, into that little black box, and it will do just fine. Now, as we do this, you'll see, if we go ahead and paste this giant thing in there, you'll see that's a bit too long. So you may have to break up your sentences a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and back here, and I'm only gonna highlight maybe up to here. We'll alt tab back over, and as you can see, that actually fits. Uh, by the time you get the hang of it and you know how much you can copy and paste from here, it shouldn't be too difficult. An ideal rule of thumb is you don't want to fill the entire bottom uh, screen up with, with captions. You want to keep a good, you want to take up maybe two-thirds of the screen and keep, you know, a small amount on the left and right side. 
If we full screen this, you'll see this is actually pretty good. Um, we have two thirds of the screen taken up by captions, the other third and the left and right are fine. A good practice is also just to put new captions in whenever there's a break in speech. That'll take too long for me to show you here, so just play around with it. If we play this video now, you'll see. And hello YouTube, GS Bam Smart here, and today's video we're going to be taking a look at. As you can see, it basically ends right there. The longer that you extend this, the longer the caption box uh, stays on screen. However, it doesn't stay on screen for that specific caption that you've entered. If you want this specific caption to stay on screen longer, you'll need to work with your frames here. So if I want this caption to start at this point, I'll go ahead and copy this and I'll paste it into here. And if I listen, we're going. So right here, right around there, that caption ends. I copy that timestamp, I paste it into here and it does just fine. Then if I want to go and add another caption, I'll press the plus button at the bottom. And this time, uh, one thing you do want to be aware about, you don't want to have the same timestamp. You want to have maybe a one frame ahead. So instead of 19, we'll make this 20. I think we might be able to squeeze all that in there. Probably not though. Yeah, we might want to separate this. So there we go, that's a little better. And then we'll add one more. And now what we're going to do is we'll find out when this next part ends. So it'll be saying regarding. So right there, we'll copy that, we'll paste that, we'll paste that same timestamp at the start here, but the difference is we'll add one to it. So instead of 27, it'll be 28. And for some reason that middle one uh, didn't seem to go to the very end where I wanted to. So I just wanna go and fix, I just went ahead and fix that real quick. So as long as you have the accurate timestamps here, very, very, very easily by just copying and pasting from right here, it should be good. So if we take a look at this now, we go full screen. And hello YouTube, GS Bam Smart here. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at all the videos ArenaNet has released regarding Living World Season 3, Episode 6. So as you can see, it doesn't fully go to the end there because our block, because our caption block wasn't extended far enough. And that's perfect right there. So that's how you add captions in Premiere Pro. Now, if you already have a transcript and your video is very long, this is kind of inefficient and it takes a very long time. So what you can very easily just drag your transcript into here. If you have a notepad file, all you gotta do is right click, import, and then just select the file. And basically what will happen is that a notepad file will be uploaded here and everything here will already be done with timestamps. All the blocks will be correct. You might just have to check them. However, the only problem with that is that Premiere Pro only allows maybe like a handful of formats and you'll see those supported formats on screen right now. Essentially, these are only supported because all of these formats will require you to have these timestamps already created in your caption file. So in your notepad file, whatever the format is, these, these timestamps will already have to be included. If they're not included, then, then you'll have to adjust the timestamps yourself anyway. And usually those formats aren't allowed on Premiere Pro. So you either have a person who's done the transcript already, upload it here and just check it, or you create them yourself here very easily by adding more blocks and importing the text or writing the text yourself and then adjusting the timestamps here. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you found it helpful. That's how you add closed captions, open captions, and subtitles into Premiere Pro. If you want to export now, you can go to File, Export, Media, and make sure that when you're in when you're in your export dialog box, which is right here in your export settings, go to the captions tab and make sure you select burn captions into video. And because these are open captions, they're always going to be uh, shown on the video. If you are working with closed captions, there'll be some other options here, such as exporting the uh, caption file if you needed to do that. So several options here. If you have closed captions, only one option if you're using open captions, which is basically editing them into the video. And then you can queue it up in media encoder or export it, however you usually do it. And you'll see these exact captions on the final render. So that's the video. If any questions or suggestions, feedback on any of this, you can go and leave a comment down below. There is a much easier way to do this if you don't want to write in everything on your own. And if you don't have a transcript file already in the right format or if it's not a supported format, you can use a program called Subtitle Edit, 
which I think does a much better job than Premiere, than Premiere Pro does here. So I encourage you to use that if you're working with long videos. Short videos though, it's not too difficult just to create new boxes. If you're working with like a one, two minute video, then this is very easy to do. But if you're working with 10, 20 minute video, then you might want to use something like subtitle edit. Like I said, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Plenty of other tutorials on the channel. And if you want to check out my most recent video, click the annotation here. If you want to check out a similar videos to this one, click the annotation here. Subscribe to any of my other channels, click the annotation here. And you can donate a dollar to my Patreon page by clicking the annotation here. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. As always, this is GSMail Smart. I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.